blow all. All right, semi foggy, a little bit drizzly here in San Francisco today. I wanted to talk to you while I'm walking about Senator Manchin here in the U.S. Senate. He's one of the biggest paid trolls for the oil company there is. Right now, he's trying to get an oil pipeline through without any environmental oversight. And he's tacked it on to another piece of must-pass legislation. Down in this description area, I have a video that explains this mansion and what he's all about and why it's so important that during the midterms that we get more senators in the D, D column so we can bypass Manchin and kill all of his oil deals because he's one of the worst oil men on the planet right now and he's causing a lot of headaches for the environmentalist to try and get rid of oil money and oil pipelines in the U.S. With people like Manchin being paid off by the oil companies so severely it's going to be awfully hard to do. He's attacked on this oil pipeline on another piece of legislation that must pass. It's up to us people. Do we really want to do something about climate? Then do something about climate. Get more senators in the D column into the midterms so that the Senate will be far higher count of, of D's than ours so that we can get rid of people like Manchin and just let him go away. I'm going to go up here and do a video. So, a strange weather phenomenon that hasn't happened hardly ever. A rare triple dip La Nina has been declared by Australia. La Nina has formed for the third consecutive year in the Pacific Ocean. This is the third time since record keeping began. This has pushed Australia's climate toward a wetter phase. So they're still getting all these floods and that's what's happening in uh, Australia because of La Nina. Scientists refer to it as a triple dip and this is the first time this century it has happened. This happened twice since record keeping began. The first from 1973 to 1975 and the second 1989 to 2001. Again, this is more about climate change than anything else. La Nina can bring an increase in tropical cyclone activity in the Atlantic Ocean and drier conditions in East Africa. And they're having a terrible drought in each East Africa right now. Now, the droughts are also in the U.S. West Coast. A fourth season of failed rain in East Africa has brought devastation to the food program and up to 20 million people are at risk of starvation. The UK and the west coast of the US has had a summer of dry weather. They're wondering what the winter will be like. Yeah, the changing of, of the seasons is so important, but with La Nina or El Nino, it's, uh, it's a whole different ball game when they come around and they're coming around more and more as we speak. Now it's so important that we do whatever we can do to mitigate climate change and letting fossil fuel companies come in and put in pipelines and oil trains and that sort of thing isn't going to hack it people. That's just going to cause more and more trouble to the planet earth. The more we uh, fossil fuel we add to the air and the, the water and the sea the more climate disaster we're going to have. It's up to us to put proper leaders into office who will be against all this and won't be pushing it and taking the oil money and doing what they say to do, like Senator Manchin here in the U.S. So don't forget to go down and check out that video of uh, Joe Manchin and what his oil deal is all about with the oil companies and how we can mitigate that in the midterms. Only two months away. Don't forget, we must replace him or at least get three more senators in office who are behind the D's. Now you know that I don't like D's and R's, period, because I find that they're pretty pathetic. But I think this year is the most important year that we've ever had for elections, and unfortunately, we're stuck with either D's or R's. There are no alternatives right now. So hopefully you'll make the right choice and we'll get rid of all this, this oil money out of Congress altogether. I appreciate all the ups, the new subscribers, and definitely your comments 
on all the videos. I know that climate change isn't a big subject right now and people are a little bit tired of hearing about it because they've been living through it. But it's not going to go away just because we get tired of it. Just like so many other things. We get tired of it, but it doesn't mean it goes away. And until next time.